As you see guys, we're back home in Los Angeles in our office. Um, and it's not on the best circumstances that we're here so early, but it is what it is. Um, I think we want to start off by how we even came across traveling or having vacation in Thailand. Um, every country kind of has like a, like a tourist committee, right? Or I don't know how would you explain that? Every country pretty much has like, they want to attract more tourists and more people to see their country, of course. So they, they reach out to influencers and people of that nature to kind of share your experience. In, in our case, that was Thailand to, exper to explain our experience in Thailand and to possibly get more people to come do what we did and enjoy it like we enjoyed it. Good. So that's how we even came across Thailand. They hit us up, hit our manager up, and we were so excited because that's a place that we've always wanted to travel anyways. Like she brought it up to me like we first met, like she wants to go to Thailand so bad. So that when, so once the opportunity came across, we were like, we jumped on it. We were like, definitely. thank you. <laughs> like, yes. So that's how we even came across Thailand in the first place. So moving on. So we kind of, or they kind of already had basically like agendas for us or like things to do, plan out so that, because they knew that we were going to be filming it. Obviously we're not from there. So like, you don't know what to do really. So they kind of gave us like an itinerary of like the things that most people come to Thailand to do. Right. So, and, and, by the, yeah. and I'm guessing it's the things that they wanted to promote the most, obviously. Yeah, definitely. So, so we learned the hard way that everything is not as it seems. And in this case, it definitely was not as it seemed. And we are deeply disappointed. Upset and sorry. Like, and we feel used like, and like... And to be feel dumb, like I haven't felt this dumb in a yeah, long time. Yeah, I feel dumb. This is not a cause we support and we're animal lovers. And we feel very, very sorry that we exposed you guys to this to possibly go because you guys know we love you and we would never expose you or tell you to like come do something we're doing if it had a negative effect on someone or something else. And in that case, or in this case, it definitely does have a negative effect. So most of the things that were on our itinerary, most of the things that were planned were just lied about to us. Like, you know, they, they lied about the tiger that we were supposed to see and the elephants that we were supposed to ride. Thank God we never did. Um, so that's how we came across Tiger Kingdom, which is a place where you can visit like any size tiger, basically. They have little baby ones, medium, they have really big ones, blah, blah, blah. And we went in so excited, like ready to film, and not even to film just to to post, but to film as an experience. Like that was something that that we really just enjoyed filming. Like the whole day, we really enjoyed filming. Like it not film, and it, it didn't seem like you know we we're filming like as a job. It just like oh, we were, definitely wasn't like a forced. Yeah, video, like, like we were just filming like you know as like a tourist basically, and that was like the coolest thing for us. Um, but we posted the video, and immediately we got flooded with comments and DMs, and it, it wasn't necessarily like people or the LS gang like blasting us. It was more like kind of trying to like educate us on what was going on, and like you know like watch this video, blah blah. blah I heard this, I seen that, and then we came across. So basically, as soon as we found out that most of everything was not like it was said to be, we immediately like deleted the video yeah, and everything was off the table at that point like we wanted nothing done, yeah. to do with that committee and we're just really sorry like just sorry and we we just feel like we just feel dumb basically we feel dumb and like used yeah and it's just like they're all they really cared about was getting more people to come to their country to make more money basically and we feel so sorry for the animals that like we feel i would say a little bit responsible for like subjecting them to more treatment like they've been subjected to and like it was really eye-opening once we saw like the truth come out um but like yeah like we said as soon as we found out we deleted the video like a video is not doesn't mean that much to us it's not worth it yeah compared to, to something like that like that's compared to the life of animals yeah being abused and hurt and drugged and neglected it was not worth a video and lying to you guys and like it just wasn't worth it we weren't gonna fake support a cause that we do that you know so for me that 
really just like turned me off like the whole trip. Um, I just didn't really feel the same after that. Yeah. So as well, the whole trip kind of was, yeah. Okay, so guys, we left for a week and PG has like doubled in size. Just by the way, if you notice, he's like huge now. Before the trip, we were super excited, talking about it every day, like, we went and got our passports, got passport holders, luggage, we went all out. We were so excited, like... And the thing is, though, I found out first, and I was trying to keep it a secret from her, I but then she was too nosy, went through the emails, and she's seen it, so then it wasn't really surprised anymore, but she was still yeah, excited. I was trying to keep it a secret from you guys, like, it's so hard when you're really excited, okay? So, um... I don't know if you guys know, but it's one of the longest, like... Flights in the world. Yeah. Top five. So, like, I think our, our, our longest flight was, like, a 15-hour flight. And we had, we, mind you, we had four flights that day to get there. So, super exhausting. And um, we got there, and that's when our problem started. <laughs> First of all, we, it was our own fault. We made the mistake of letting other people choose where we were going to stay and... We were pretty much staying somewhere that was in the middle of nowhere. And we're not from here. We're not from Thailand. We don't speak Thai. Like, this is not the place you want to be. We're like, there's no food, no gas stations, no nothing around. So that was our problem number one. Next, you know, we're trying to make the best of it. Still be good and be happy. And like, we just put it as like politely as possible. We wish we would have traveled with different people. Like we, the people that we, the people that we went with just didn't have the same plans as we did. And yeah, to put it like And so they, so don't get me wrong guys, Thailand is literally the most beautiful country that we've seen. The most beautiful like, oh, yeah. places we've been to. Like the scenery is like, gorgeous. And they have amazing people there. Like this video as is no way like bashing anyone from Thailand or the country of Thailand. Like we would still we have go, nothing but like, like the utmost respect for the people of Thailand and um, we will definitely come back. But again, you still have to be aware of your surroundings, everything that you do, because it is still a third world country. There still is crime and poverty. So that's why being in the middle of nowhere um, wasn't really the best idea. You don't know anyone. One, two, you're a tourist. Wherever you go, people will try to take advantage of you if you are not from there. It does not matter where you go, it will happen. So we were already pretty bothered by that and like... Kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, pretty, pretty uncomfortable. So, the people that we went with, they were kind of trying to like party and stuff like that and that is not <laughs> our vibe at all like we you guys know us pick up dinner and netflix and chill <laughs> like we don't yeah and it's just it wasn't a good look for us i, I think we're, we were looking more to like explore thailand and do cool things and try new foods that we haven't tried and the people that we came with were more looking to get drunk <laughs> in, at 7 a.m and like jump off boats and, and leave with uh, people who didn't speak English and take them out to random islands and not know where you're going. And we are just not cool with that. We want to know where we're going to be, who we're going to be with. Um, we just like to be safe and cautious at all times, especially where we're not from. So that was the second like... Yeah, so basically the people who we were with basically got upset that we didn't want to be with them and then it kind of like made the whole trip weird and very uncomfortable like it just wasn't a good fit and then on top of that within our group only had one car so a lot of times we were stranded because they wanted to go do those things yeah they and decided we that like they decided that they wanted to do their own thing and, and left us to do ours but with no no transportation. They, they left us they were upset that we did not want to join join their activities and they decided to leave us. Mind you, we rented one car because we're, we all came together. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. And um, they decided and that. If we would have knew, then obviously we would have got another car. And so, you know, we tried to like get our own rental car and they were just like so, I guess, upset with us that they didn't want to even give us the number to the rental car or like the taxis out there. So like that just made things way worse. We were literally guys, we were stranded in our um, place that we were staying. No, mind you, we're like 10, at least 10 miles away from, from like any food, um, water, 
anything. We only had like a couple water bars at home to like. So that is how we came across the scooter. And that's <laughs> why we were scootering everywhere. If you guys saw in the video, if you were able to see it. That's like the main means of transportation in Thailand. There's, there are scooter experts out there. Let me tell you, there are moms on there with their two or three kids in front of the scooter holding on to each other <laughs> and one of them got groceries on the back like yeah. they are they're making it work yeah. it doesn't matter they're making it do no it. excuses i would one thing we can uh, say oh, I, <laughs> okay. can we say it fine, can we say fine, it fine, fine, fine. the people of thailand are so hard working we were out there amazed like people in america are lazy <laughs> even trying to sell you stuff la they just sit there and like yeah. if you come yeah, yeah, out yeah. you talk to them for people of thailand are like hello how are you doing Look at this, I can get this made for you. Look at this, I'm like. Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely making it work. Like oh. they are hustlers out there. And that's something obviously for us that we can really respect. Yeah. Um, okay, back to our scootering. Back to the scootering, yeah. So that's how we came across the scooter. So the, the people that we went with, the vibe that we had there with the people, and then also finding out that basically we were there for like a fake cause just ruined everything for us. We immediately yeah. deleted the video and we even flew back a whole week earlier. So now we're back home in Los Angeles talking to you guys. Guys, that was the hardest, but we, I'm, I would say we're survivors. We were stranded. We made it work. We, we had to work. ask. Um, luckily, there was a man who was there to clean the pool and he he didn't know how to use the damn scooter either. And he, so. he, didn't speak, he didn't speak one lick of English, but he helped out so much. He literally saved our whole freaking Through like trip. gestures, we were able to communicate that neither of us knew how to use the scooter. But then he made it work. So we were good. And he showed us how to use it and um, that's how we were able to eat every day. And um, I would say we definitely triumphed. And one lesson, we did come back with some lessons and I would say the most important lesson we did come back with is don't trust what other people say because nine times out of 10, it's not. It's not what it is. And I can say that for our entirety of the whole trip. So uh, we were there for what, six days? But we only really got to do stuff for like two days. Yeah, we had two great days just together and like we got to see so many things and meet so many kind people in those two days. And then the other days were spent um, struggling, being upset, lied to, and um, on an airplane for long periods of time. So one thing I'd like to say is to other influencers, um, other YouTubers that if you are also asked to do things such as that, make sure you really look into whatever Do your it own is. research. Yeah, because that's something we didn't do. We just kind of trusted it and that was a big mistake on us and we are completely sorry for that. So that's something that you guys should definitely learn from us. We apologize, LS Gang, if we offended anyone. We offended ourselves by our stupidity. Yeah, like we, after we found, like literally I was dumbfounded. Like I was like, we felt so dumb and we're like, we have to delete the video, you know. The rest of the video was so much fun and we wanted to show you guys all the things we got That's to do. That's why we're so mad. We're like, dang, like, but then, we, yeah, we're just very upset, but I mean. You live and you learn, but that's all we can say. And we are deeply sorry, but in brighter news, we got to come home and see our dog. Yeah, it made us way more homesick. Like as soon as after all this happened, we were like, we want to go home now. Like we're not having fun here. Let's just go home, get back to our dogs. And they they were sad too. Like yeah, we had people FaceTime us so we could see our dogs. Like Joseph was here, Rob was here, my and brother was here. Everyone was here, and, and like every time we FaceTime the dogs, they just be they just look sad. And like and we and we got here. Oh my God, they're freaking about to have a heart attack. So um. It was definitely great to see our dogs and it just validated. I kind of was just looking at them and I felt even like worse because we supported an organization that does not support the love and protection and safety of animals. So um, to make up for that, I think we are going to go personally donate to a couple of wildlife preserves of our choice and we are going to thoroughly do our research on which ones are the best to donate. So if you guys have any suggestions on your favorite wildlife preserves, comment and donate too. Let's save the wildlife one dollar at a time. And don't let her save the wildlife like that too. So yeah guys, that was basically, yeah, we just wanted to like really, because you know how we are, we're really transparent with you guys. We want you guys to know like everything that we do. We don't want to lie about anything with our channel or with you guys, with our supporters. 
we want to let you guys know basically everything that had taken place, like how we even got there in the first place, and why we were so upset, why we deleted the video, and now why we're back home a whole week earlier. And that is it, guys. But as always, guys, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the gang. We'll see you soon. We love Peace. you.